everyone. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Five and Eats. All right, guys, today we have some pork rinds for you, but these are not just any old pork rinds. I'm super excited about it. We have been waiting for quite some time because we bought this like well, a couple weeks ago and we've been just dying to try it. It is the Lowry's Bacon Curls Microwave Pork Rinds Chicharrones Hot and Spicy, Hot and Crispy, less than one gram total carb per serving. And it comes in like a little microwave popcorn kind of package and bag. And you basically put this into the microwave and it expands like microwave popcorn, but it doesn't really like pop. You can kind of hear it sizzling a little bit, but they say whenever it stops expanding, take it out of the microwave and this is what we got. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday gross items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now we picked this up at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. So if you want to get this, that's probably where you can find it for a buck 79. So Not Blaine's bad. is kind of like a Walmart for farmers. Yes, And exactly. they have like food and they have all kinds of other stuff. Mm -hmm. And we came across this and I was super excited because look, I've said this before in the wine world, there is a wine expert they call, what is it? A sommelier. And so you like pork rinds. So I consider you a pork rind. Sommelier. Exactly. Okay. So that's why we got to try this. <laughs> I am excited about it. I think it looks pretty decent. Let's get into it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back. Our rating system. Thumbs up, we'd buy it again. Thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. Only one reason. What is that? This is a pretty good product. I like the spice level on it. I like the texture because it's kind of like a hard potato chip. Like a kettle chip? Yeah, like a kettle chip would be a good way to describe it exactly. Overall, I'm impressed with this, but there was a deal breaker, which was the salt level was insanely high. Hmm. I can't get past that. Like every time I was eating it, I was like, man, this is pretty good, except the salt level in this is way, way too high. It's, it's just insane. <clears throat> Thumbs down. The salt level is about 1600 milligrams for the whole bag of it. So for me, this is going to be a thumbs down. I don't think overall the product is bad. I actually really like that you can like DIY your own little like fresh pork rinds in the microwave. I think that that's genius. Um, I like the spice level. At first I was pretty annoyed with it because I thought that it wasn't spicy at all, but boy, it really creeps up on you. So it definitely has some kick there. My big issue, two things. The salt level is pretty off the charts. It's very, very, very salty and you can't avoid it. Like it's in every single bite just assaulting you. But my biggest issue with it is that I like a specific type of pork rind. I like the ones that are a little bit like thicker. Oh no, not this one even, but you know, the thicker, fluffier ones. Yeah. These are a lot of ones that are like thin and like, like something like this. You can't really see it, but it's got these little like holes on the underside. I don't like that. It creeps me out. Um, so these ones that are like extra like hard and crunchy, those aren't the kind that I like. So if I'm getting like a bag of pork rinds, I don't eat those ones. I eat the ones that are like thicker and fluffier. So this I feel like was majority little hard crunchy ones. So it's not my kind of pork rind, but I would definitely, if they had a different flavor, I would try it to see if maybe it's just a batch by batch kind of thing. Like maybe the next one would have more fluffy ones than these little hard ones. But overall, I think it's definitely worth trying at least one time, but I would not buy this flavor again. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.